good morning ladies and gents it's simon here at vans today in worcester i'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2020 on a 70 plate uh, it is the volkswagen crafter uh, in the highly desirable medium wheelbase high roof format um, now these are 2 litre tdi 138 brake horsepower um, which i think is the best engine out there for this if you're looking at buying one of these uh, Six-speed manual gearbox. Uh, it is a trend line, but it is a trend line with a business pack. Now, what is a business pack? I hear you shout. Um, business pack gives it the air conditioning and it gives it the front and rear parking sensors being the most desirable of the business pack options. Okay. Um, now, these are one owner from new vans. They have come direct off fleet. They do have warranted miles. Uh, we have a choice of three of these vans available. Um, this particular one, as I say, one keeper, 53,000 miles. They'd come with a maintenance print with them as well. Uh, and now for those of you that haven't seen any of our videos before, the purpose of the videos is to give you a walk and all video walk around of the van so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. And then you can make that informed decision whether this is a vehicle for you or not. Now I'm well aware that the wind is blowing today, so I may not um, be coming through in full clarity so any uh, any uh, queries feel free to give us a shout um but let's get started shall we um so we always tend to start up high and uh, on this thing a couple of minor little bits of cosmetics still to do to it so uh, as i say warts and all we do we'll point it out to you and then uh, you can make that informed decision whether this is a vehicle for you or not now we do have just a little bit of a minor little ding up there okay um, so it's either a smart repair or a dent man. Um, either way, we will get it sorted out on it before it goes out the door. Uh, top of your nose cone up there or roof cone up there on the roof are all looking good. Down onto your windscreen. The windscreen is in good overall condition. There are no major stone chips or cracks that is going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time, of which you will have a fresh 12 months on it before it goes out the door. Coming down onto your bonnet. Again, bonnet overall good condition no major stone chips you will always get obviously it's a 53,000 mile van you will always get some micro chipping and stuff but there's nothing major on there to really point out to you to the front of the vehicle your front grills front bumper etc all pretty good yes there you go those are your front parking sensors um, which comes with that business pack uh, passenger side headlamp unit that's good passenger side front bumper corner a couple of minor marks on both corners of the front bumpers i'm going to point them out to you they are not biggies okay um obviously it is a textured bumper textured bumper is not mega money but when you bang a bumper on it i'm not convinced it would let me show you so we've got really really minor little marks there right down low here it's not helped in the fact it was cleaned last week whilst i was on holiday it's been parked up and now it's rained and there's muck all over it now so a couple of minor little marks there come around to the rest of the bumper driver's side headlamp unit that's good driver's side front bumper corner again more little marks here on the textured part okay um, we can get it retextured um, it's never as good as the factory finish um, but it can possibly be done now if we look down the driver's side of the vehicle from this angle whilst I'm down on the creaky old knees uh, you can see it's pretty straight and tidy isn't it? it's got a nice reflection to that paintwork as well there is a little bit of a ding in the driver's door now the dent man has had a go at it it isn't one he can get to because of where the crash repair bar is and uh, not crash repair bar you know what i mean crash bar inside the doors um so i'll try and point that out to you so you get a better close-up of it driver's side front wing however that's all looking good driver's side front steel wheel minor little marks on the steel wheel part you have a continental tire on there that tyre has that element of tyre tread depth. Where we are with tyre tread depth, anything less than three millimetres, we replace the legal limit being 1.6. Mirror unit with integrated indicator, all pretty good. Now there is a little, some minor little scuffing on the mirror cover part. It's not a biggie, but it is there, so we'll point it out to you. Up here, that's all looking good. Down onto your driver's side door glass, that's all looking good as well driver's side door itself as i say other than the little ding i'm going to point out to you pretty good condition so door handle and lock are good door edges as we bring the camera down everything aligns up to how it should be a 
couple of minor, minor little touch-ins just to do on the door edges there, but we'll sort that out. And when I was saying dings, so we've got a little one there, we've got a little one there, and we've got one here. Um, I guess we could body shop it, um, speak to us, um, see what we can do. They're not biggies. I don't think it's you know massively derogatory on a vehicle of this age and miles, but they are there, so we'll point them out to you. Whilst I'm there as well, we've just got a little bit of wear on the sill there, which is probably just a touch in, and then we've got a little bit of dirt there, which that will come off, okay, whatever it is. But that will come off, we'll get that off for you, okay? Get down low, check out your lower sills. Those are in good condition, no damage to those. Your protective strips down the side of the vehicle are in overall good condition. Let me try and give you a close up of them. If we're being mega fussy, it's just a little mark there. Ever so slightly marked, but nothing major. Again, you know, there is a scuff mark there. It actually looks worse on the iPhone camera than it does in real life. If you wanted to mint it, you'd end up replacing these trims and these trims, but how far do you go on a used van? Mid-quarter, that's all looking pretty good. No marks. Drive side rear quarter, again, overall good condition. Nothing major on there to point out to you. Uh, trim on the back here, again, really minor minor marks again iphone camera probably highlights it more than the naked eye does uh, check out the photos if you don't believe me steel wheels on the back all pretty good we have another continental tire there that tire has plenty of tire tread depth we look down the side profile of the van from this angle again all looking pretty neat and tidy and let's give you the side shot the money shot so it's a nice respectable van it isn't one that's been completely battered and abused um, but as i say i tend to point everything out and then you can make up your own minds can't you rear light unit that side that's all looking good bumper corners with integrated reflector and parking center all good so the back of the vehicle we have rear barn doors on a 50 50 split so again high level brake light up there all good we do have just a little minor mark up there on the edge. That mark there, I think it might just polish out to be fair, I think that's just probably glue. Have a look at your door edges. Those are pretty good. We do have a little mark there, but overall, I think pretty straight and tidy for one of these things. We have to remember the big vans, they have a life. They do a job, they have a life. Um, it's just getting the ones that haven't had too hard a life. That rear bumper, again, overall, there's a couple of minor marks on it. Nothing major, but there are some minor marks there. Opening up the rear doors and inside the van, pretty straight and tidy to be fair. Have a look at that roof. Um, that's all, no signs of any damage there. Your bulkhead in the back there, that doesn't look like it's done a lot of hard work, does it? Um, inside, it's ply lined on both sides. Arches are covered. Ply lining, I don't know why, we have a few in where you don't have ply lining on the upper part of the rear door. And then the flooring, obviously it's that nice hard wearing flooring with all your tie down points all present and correct. Inside, you've got full length ply lining on your rear doors. But just kind of minor things that I'll kind of point out to you. So your painted bits around here. Yes, there's minor marks on them, but they're not battered and scratched to death, um, which is always a sign of how well or how hard something has worked. You've got all these tie down points all around it as well. But overall, I would say not in bad order. Passenger side, so passenger side rear light unit, that's all looking good. Passenger side rear bumper corner and reflector all looking good. Look down the side profile of the van from this angle and again, all looking pretty neat and tidy as well. Plastics on this side, minor, minor marks, nothing major. Upper quarter this side, all looking good. Actually, you have a minor little mark up there. 
think that will probably, a bit of teacup, a bit of touching, you'll be alright on that. Lower quarter again, uh, and then to your rear wheel. So the rear wheel, the tyre on that side is knackered, okay? We will be replacing that tyre, that is no good to us. Um, you still will though, that's all looking pretty good. And sliding door this side, all pretty neat and tidy as well. Again, get down low, check out your lower sills, all looking pretty good. Your protective strips going down the side of the vehicle. Again, you're always going to get some little minor wear and tear marks, but nothing major. What am I talking about? I suppose little bits like that. Um, sliding door handle, all looking good. Alignment of your sliding door to your front door, all looking pretty good as well. Passenger side front door, good. Windows, good. Upper and lower ring mirrors are good. Again, a bit of hedge rash on your plastic cover on your mirror. Uh, integrated indicators all pretty good. And then passenger side front wing, that's all looking pretty good. Passenger side front steel wheel. Again, another Continental tyre. That tyre itself, not looking too bad. Inside the van, let's show you the sliding door. So, sliding door opens up and holds into place quite nicely as well. Your entry step and sills are in good condition. The door shuts are clean and tidy, as you can see. Your sliding door rubber is present and correct. These are all things that, we've learned from experience, may not be. There's just a, another view of your bulkhead there, and then into the back of the van, as you can see. Just another viewpoint, really. Tidy, not really done a lot. Inside, so we have, that is your add blue filler and your diesel fuel filler. Again, door shuts are clean and tidy. And your door cards are in nice, tidy condition. Not full of rubbish, nothing like that. Uh, there's your uh, bonnet pull. I'll show you under there. Flooring inside, again, pretty tidy. Dashboard fascia, again, all pretty tidy. Glove box here, it's nice and clean in there. Cup holders, vents are good. We have additional storage and cup holders on top of the dash there as well. You've got 12 volt power there as well. A um, bit of storage above your heads. And then your seats, again, all respectable enough. Um, we fold those forward you've got additional storage underneath those seats there for you as well just close everything up show you under the bonnet on the way around shall we now i'm doing this one-handed so bear with as you can see all looking good there's your coolant correct color coolant for volkswagen no contamination in there fuel filters down there we'll be replacing that with a fresh one before it goes out the door what I thought brake fluid air boxes in there as well yellow bits for your dipstick there's your oil filler and everything as you can see all looking good now door card itself respectable central locking electric heated mirrors electric windows door shuts this side all looking good entry seals and plastics okay we've been getting in and out of it as i say i was off last week when they valeted this and then they've been moving it around so this will all just get recleaned as will your flooring there as well but things like your pedal rubbers those are in good order uh, now there's a little bit of wear on the corner it's really really common on these crafters we will get that into the trimmers folks all right so don't worry about that it will have a fresh panel fitted at our trimmers for you okay really really common because that is the element of the seat that you hit every time you get in and out of these things top of the dashboard as you can see loads of storage space there um now being business pack as well we've got android auto apple carplay mirror link on that slightly bigger screen there for you it does work off your usb rather than by bluetooth but you do have dab FM and AM there, as well as your Bluetooth phone and your Bluetooth music. Hazard warning lights, 
central locking for the back of the vehicle. You do have stop start technology. Air conditioning, blower fans, where the air is blowing to, etc., etc. here. Electronic stability program. This one will turn off your parking sensors. As I say, it's the 138 brake horsepower 2 litre TDI, which gives it the six speed manual gearbox, reverse gear all the way to the left and forward, and that will activate your park distance display on your dashboard as well. A couple of USB C, uh, sorry, US, is it USB C? I think it is, isn't it? Anyway, and a 12 volt power down there as well. In between your seats, clean and tidy, no old McDonald's down there. We do have cruise control, uh, we do have volume controls, we have search controls. These buttons here activate your dashboard here. Now, I think we are 900 miles off a of service, so we will be servicing it before it goes out the door, folks. When I say we service it, we do oil, air, fuel, and pollen filters, so all of your filters are being done on it, okay? Your uh, dashboard binnacle there, you can see uh, it's clean and tidy. All the plastic side of it is nice. It's not overly scratched or anything like that. Uh, main beam and indicators on that stalk, wipers and wiper wash on that stalk. Manual headlamps, buttons are down there, headlamp levelers are down there. More cup holders, more vents that are all good, more cup holders there, more vents that are good there, more vents that are good over here. Um, SOS button, etc. internal lights and all of that malarkey are up there as well. And that, my friends, is about it. So, as I say, to one owner from you, 53,000 mile 2020 on a 70 plate Volkswagen um, Crafter medium wheelbase high roof uh, trend line with the business pack a couple of minor bits of cosmetics to sort out on it but nothing major there really just typical wear and tear for the big van um, and that's it now there are 50 to 60 photos on our website our website is vanstoday.com we are vans today worcester based in the center of the country offering you nationwide delivery part exchange and finance um, if you're worried about how you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews on Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, um, and you're watching this video on our YouTube channel. So like and subscribe for all of our latest fans. Thanks very much for watching, my friends. Um, any queries, feel free to give us a shout and speak to you later.